video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Primo video. And today, we're looking at another one of the brilliant center backs, young center back pickups in career mode FIFA 16 this year, and that is Rugani. Yes, Daniele Rugani has definitely been a name in career mode for quite a while, a very nice center back pickup, but this year, he has taken it to a whole other level. He has a high 70s rating and a very high 80s potential. He's no longer loaned away either. He's actually playing games for Juventus, so you can pick him up in his very first season too. And when I say he's playing games for Juventus, I mean this kid is actually now playing games for Juventus. That's how far he's come. So let's take a look at Rugani's stats in depth. Again, he's 78 rated, which is great to see. That physical and mental attribute growth is very, very respectable. He's got that low, or should I say high 60s rating, which is definitely great. His uh, skill attributes maybe could be a little bit better, but when it comes down to him being a defender, he's absolutely stellar. He's got great heading accuracy, around 76 or mid 70s. And then all of his defending stats, like marking, stand tackle, and slide tackle are 83. 20 years of age, six foot three, so plenty of height there as well. Three star weak foot and two star skill moves. No specialities, no traits, but he's got the height, he's got the stats, he's got it all to be a centre back, and he's also got that sensational potential of 88. He is one of the highest potential centre backs in FIFA 16 career mode, and if that's not enough for you to want to get him, then I don't know what will. But either way, in his first season, we have gotten a little bit of overall growth, just the one this time. We've had a lot of players recently only go up by the one in terms of their overall in, you know, a lot of their seasons in their first three seasons. But still, Daniele Rugani this time around, just the plus one to his overall in his first season, now 21 years of age. All of, that, all of that has been mental attribute growth, or at least for what's being indicated. But still, that's our first season with him. How about, though, in his second season? I would definitely love to see at least plus two or plus three to his overall this time around. Or, or you know, we could get absolutely none. All right, this is fantastic. Yeah, no, whatever, Rugani, whatever you want. That's fine. But anyway, we get more in, we get more increases to his attributes, but again, they're all mental attributes. Once, once again, if no physical or mental or technical, should I say, is going to go up, then sure, fine, hit us with some mental attribute growth. I mean, it's not like it affects the overall anyway, but it's still 79. Not been the greatest of starts, to be honest, my, uh, my son Rugani. Let's get it a little bit better. If he had kept his level of growth to one per season, that would mean that he would have hit his potential of 88 right in 2025. But now, after not being able to grow, you've got to be able to bring it back. Let's go, Rugani. There it is. The plus two that we've wanted. Unfortunately, it's come on the back of a season where he didn't go by anything, but at least he's gone up by three in three seasons. That means he's sort of back on track. Unfortunately, in bad form and unhappy morale. So that's... Not been too, it's not been sensational. But hey, the mental attributes, fuck are they coming together or what? Look at that, the aggression at 83, the interceptions now at 90 as well, and some of those defending attributes, wouldn't you believe it, they've actually started going up as well. Only his marking and stand tackle though, but hey, that's not too bad. Once again, he's gone up by the three overall, despite not really going up too much in his actual defending attributes, but still, I'll take the three plus overall increase, but what will his rating be in 2025? That's the question, and let's have a look. So here we are, 2025 with Daniele Rugani, one of the most popular center back pickups in career mode for a very long time. But in FIFA 16, what is his rating in 2025? He's made it to 88 in the final season. He's once again gone right back to that plus one every season sort of growth. But finally, he's been able to do it. And hey, at an 88 overall, take a look at some of those defending attributes. 95 marking, 94 slide tackle, 95 stand tackle, the heading accuracy of the 86s as well, and those physical attributes have gone up by a little bit as well. That strength at 79, nearly cracking the 80s as well, and those mental attributes. The interceptions at, 90, at 93 is crazy. As well as that, some of those technical attributes that, you know, aren't too, uh, cr aren't, aren't too critical to being a defender, but things like the ball control and the passing have gotten much better as well. And that is always a much, uh, you know, that's always really well wanted when you're a center back. But the sheer defending attributes that this man has, if you're looking at this guy as nothing but a center back, my God, is he sensational. He got to the 88 overall. He's hit about mid 90s with his actual specific defending attributes. And he looks like a tank at six foot three, standing that tall with that sort of, with those sort of stats. That's pretty crazy. Thanks for watching another 2025 career mode video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And until next time, my name's Masterbucks and have a good one. Bye-bye.